In the CASCOM project, we have three uh, main uh, sub-objectives. In this one is the capacity building through technical training and academic training with the supervision of students. There were quite a number of areas that needed to be addressed in the animal health domain, specifically looking at the disease that has been affecting animals of late in Zimbabwe, which is called January disease and the scientific name paleriosis. During the course of the year, we had um, in, in infection spreading um, through these details that are on the, the southern part of the district. We have been facing challenges in deaths of animals due to this disease. There were gaps in terms of capacity of technical personnel to detect or to diagnose disease from the field. And also there were gaps in terms of um, new knowledge in how to detect diseases early and respond also rapidly. The work that uh, we are doing on the evaluation of the surveillance system under the, the CASCOM project uh, is to identify the gap uh, in the surveillance system to be able to uh, propose a recommendation to improve it. The second objective is to upgrade the laboratory. We did the inauguration of a biomolecular laboratory at the veterinary faculty at the University of Zimbabwe. CASCOM contributed to the training of dozens of Zimbabwean staff involved in the control of animal and zoonotic diseases and to the establishment of the Molecular Biology Laboratory with international standards that we have the pleasure to inaugurate today. We are very grateful to the CASCOM people. They have helped us quite a lot. The lab was just, uh, it has very few equipment. Now it's fully equipped and we're grateful. When the CASCOM came, the lab was upgraded. So we now have an international standards uh, lab. This uh, biomolecular platform will be uh, a tool uh, to improve the global surveillance system in the country. The third objective is to uh, improve the effectiveness and the autonomy of the surveillance system in Zimbabwe. What we do is um, semi-invasive sampling, which is where we capture the bats, but we don't kill them. So we use um, traps. Um, so with these traps, usually we set them up at night. That's when we sample the bats. So we collect the samples that we want. So normally it's just fecal samples, hair samples, um, blood and then afterwards actually release the base to go. Uh, I've been able to, 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 to uh, train her in a field sampling uh, and mainly also in a biosecurity because it's uh, really important given that we are working on potentially pathogenic uh, viruses, it is really important to train or students uh, to, to honor the, the biosecurity measures in order to prevent uh, accidental transmission during our work. It's really important to have an efficient surveillance system because a functional surveillance system should demonstrate the absence of a disease or should determine the presence or the distribution of a disease and should rapidly respond to an episodic event.